So can you ex explain what uh, would qualify as a medical or religious exemption against the COVID-19 vaccine? So there are very, very few medical exemptions. They are primarily severe allergies to one of the ingredients in one of the three vaccines. But the good news is that each of the vaccines contains different ingredients. So it would be highly, highly unlikely that anybody would be severely allergic to ingredients in all three of the vaccines because they share, they have different, they don't share, they generally don't share ingredients in common. And then um, religious exemptions. So there, um, there is some case law that uh, defines, help defines religious exemptions, which I think have to do with, um, I'm just gonna say that. So for religious exemptions, there is case law. This is really more of a legal uh, issue and I'm not a lawyer, but there is case law that indicates that if you have a long held uh, religious belief about vaccines, that that uh, can count as a religious exemption. Though I have to say, I don't know of any organized religion that provides as a tenant um, a, a belief that people should not be vaccinated. So even um, Hasidic Judaism, Christian Science, Jehovah Witnesses, um, there are religions like that that I understand do um, provide for vaccines, that they're not against vaccines. What would be, and I guess on both those fronts, both medical and religious, how would somebody prove that they either have a severe allergy to one of the ingredients, or as you mentioned, uh, has had a longstanding religious belief against vaccines or that, they're, that the religion they follow also yeah. is against them? So each employer usually figures, determines that. They usually have, um, ends up having a, a, a provider. Um, so for instance, a provider to, um, to look through the medical exemptions to see if they're bona fide. And then um, sometimes the legal counsel determines the religious exemptions. So that's in my, my experience, it's usually the legal counsels who determine an employer setting the religious exemptions and a healthcare provider who determines um, if the medical exemptions are bona fide. And then the, the person themselves, the employee themselves has to go and get um, documentation from a provider and uh, their private provider um, documenting their medical exemption. But you, oftentimes there's a provider on site at the employer, in, in employee health, for instance, who determines if that's a bona fide medical exemption. Do you think they would need, this, need the same type of, you know, documentation from a, a religious leader that says this religion that we follow you know, does not does not allow people to have vaccines, or is that we're getting I into think, the weeds? You know, here. this is really the legal counsel's um, yeah. question, yeah. but I do believe that the, most of the time it's something that the person has written about their own beliefs. But and again, I don't know of a faith leader who says you shouldn't be getting vaccinated. But um, so anyway, it's it's um, but it gets into, it gets into a lot of legal nuance. So there's um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so that's fine. I, I will ask really, a lawyer. 